take a look at expectancy theory. The expectancy theory, which is Vroom's formula, states that motivation equals expectancy times valence. Motivation depends on how much people want something and how likely they are to get it. Expectancy and valence are two important variables in Richter Vroom's formula that must be met for motivation to take place. Expectancy refers to the person's perception of his or her ability, the probability, to accomplish an objective. Generally, the higher one's expectancy, the better chance for motivation. When employees do not believe they can accomplish their objectives, they won't be as motivated to try. Also important is the perception of the relationship between performance and the outcome or reward. Generally, the higher one's expectancy of the outcome or reward, the better the chance for motivation. This is called instrumentality. If employees are certain to get a reward or to be successful, they'll probably be motivated. When not sure, employees may not be motivated. Valence refers to the value the person places on the outcome or reward. Generally, the higher the value, importance, or the outcome or reward, the better the chance of motivation. The following conditions should be implemented to motivate employees. Clearly define objectives and the performance needed to achieve them. Tie performance to rewards. High performance should be rewarded. When one employee works harder to produce more than other employees and is not rewarded, he or she may slow down productivity. Be sure that rewards are of value to the employee. You need to realize that what motivates you may not motivate someone else. You should treat others as individuals. Make sure that your employees believe you will do what you say you'll do when it comes to motivation.